morning dears how are you today is our topic is solving inequalities first see the rules the rules when multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number by a negative number the inequality symbol must be reversed if it is less than we should change it to greater than if it is greater than we should change it to less than like that okay but when you divide by the positive number no need to change anything only for negative number this rule is applicable okay next for see there is some example negative 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 16 so keep the variable in left hand side and bring the numbers to other side but there is we have only one number positive 5 bring it to right hand side so negative 16 Uh, when positive five when it comes to the right hand side will become negative five. So sixteen, negative sixteen, and negative five will be negative twenty one. So negative three x in the variable in the left hand side less than or equal to negative twenty one. Then how to find the value of x? So we are going to divide by negative three by both sides. Okay, let's see how. So negative three x divide by negative three. The same thing we have to divide the same number in the right hand side also. But when we are dividing by a negative number, we need to reverse the given symbol. So it was less than or equal to. Now it is greater than or equal to. So change it. So when we are dividing by a negative number, be careful. Change the symbol. Okay. So now what is the answer? Three three will be eliminated, and negative twenty one divided by negative three is. Seven. So our answer is x is greater than or equal to seven. Now solve some problems. First one is five x is greater than seven. So how to find the value of x? It is like multiply five times x, so it is five x. So when the number comes to the other side, it should be in divide. So x is greater than or equal. Sorry, x is greater than seven divided by five. It should be in the denominator. This is the value of x. Next, four x plus one less than or equal to thirteen. So keep the variable in left side. Bring the number to other side. So four x is less than or equal to thirteen. That plus one will be minus one. So thirteen minus one will become twelve. So four x is less than or equal to 12 and what is the value of x we have to bring the number to right hand side it should be in division how x is less than or equal to 12 divided by 4 so what is x 12 divided by 4 is 3 so x is less than or equal to 3 this is the value of the x next question 3 3x plus 1 less than 6 same here Keep the variable in left side and bring the numbers to right hand side. Six minus one. So it is not the meaning of variable should be in the left side. It is not like that. It is for our convenience keeping variable in one side, keeping numbers in other side. So it can be in any side, no problem. Okay. So three x is less than six minus five. What is six minus one? It is five. So three x is less than five. Now it is three times x. Is less than five. So what is x? So we should bring three to the right hand side. How to divide? So it is what x is less than five divided by three. Five over three. So this is the value of x. X is less than five over three. Our next question is two bracket of A plus four, so which means two multiply A plus four is less than fifty. If the question is given like this, what we have to do first? First, expand the bracket. Okay, so multiply the number to inside the bracket. How two times A will be two A plus two times four eight is less than fifteen. And what is two A? So keep it in left side. Bring the number to right hand side. Fifteen minus eight. So two a is less than three minus a. So two a is less than seven. And what is a? A is less than seven over two. And then next, 
if I okay. at least at least in inequality problem solving problems we get sometimes at least in the world if, what is the meaning of this word at least means okay not less than not less than there are three meanings for this minimum at least so not less than this see x is greater than or equal to 3 so x should be greater than or equal to 3 at least 3 so not less than 3 and also greater than or equal to so when you get at least this word okay you have to use the symbol greater than or equal to and one more thing we will get at most at most means not more than this not more than this so maximum three like that okay so at most means maximum three so it means should be less than three so also it can be three so at most maximum three so we should add x is less than or equal to three so x is less than or equal to three so these three means are a maximum three not more than three less than or equal to three so when you get utmost in your question you have to use the symbol less than or equal to understand